All right. <laughs> we never get sick of the substitution problems. We also never get sick of the uh, system of equation problems. When I'm looking at this one, my mind, like I'm solving the system of equations, y equals 6x minus 1, y equals negative 2x plus 1. Hey, that's two slope-intercept forms of linear equations, so I already know what those lines look like. And I could actually make a quick sketch of this one if I wanted to, and maybe I will. You know, so I know um, negative 1, that's the y-intercept, 6, it's got a pretty big slope. It's looking something like that. This one, I know the y-intercept is at 1, so about the same spacing up top. This is just a quick sketch. The slope's negative 2, so it's nowhere near as steep, but it has to be negative. Something like that? I mean, maybe it should be less steep? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Um, all right, so when I'm looking at this, to me, this system looks like it's perfectly set up for substitution. I mean, when you look at this, y equals, oh, so y is the same thing as that. And then we got y equals, oh, so y is the same thing as that. So y is this, and y is that. And all of my blue circles, y is the same thing as y, because we're finding that intersection where they cross, where the y's are the same. So this is the same thing as that. This is the same thing as that, and this is the same thing. So really, I could just say this, substituted here. Or I could say this, substituted there. And it doesn't matter, so I'm just going to write that down. So we get negative 2x plus 1 equals 6x minus 1. One variable, you know, linear, uh, we, we made these two linear equations into one variable equation. Beautiful, easy to solve. I want to get rid of that negative 2x. I just don't like the negatives. They're not my thing. So I'm going to add 2x to both sides. And we're going to get 1 equals 8x minus 1. Yeah. And then I need to get rid of that 1, so I'm going to add 1 to both sides, and we're going to get 8x equals 2. Ooh, it's got to be fraction. Uh, i got to get rid of that 8. Multiply by 8, get rid of it by dividing by 8. So I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides by 8. And that I could reduce to 1 quarter. So we get x equals 1 quarter. Now, I still have to find my y, so I get to plug this one in. And when I look, both are perfectly set up to find y, so it doesn't matter which one I plug this into. Um, I can either take 6 quarters, I can take negative 2 quarters. I don't know, negative 2 just doesn't sound as friendly. So I'm going to take this equation right here. Yeah, we use blue, that's good. So uh, I get y equals 6 multiplied by my x value, which is a quarter. And then we have to subtract 1 still, 6x minus 1, 6x minus 1, 6 quarters. If I want to do that, I can. 6 over 4, that's really 1 and a half, so 1.5. I'm going to use 1.5 here. So I get y equals, you know what, no, we'll, we'll do 3 halves, it'll be fun. So that's 1.5, 3 halves, same thing, minus 1. 1 is the same thing as 2 over 2. Check the fractions. We get y equals 1 half. And so I know that x equals 1 quarter y equals one half is a solution. If I go up here and kind of look, is it possible? I mean, this was a sketch, it's not perfect, you know? Um, so, I mean, maybe, like if this line wasn't as, it's, it's reasonable, both are still positive, it kind of looks close. So this, I mean, this one was definitely substitution all the way. There's, there's no other way you would have done this. I'm going to step in for a second, Mr. Painter. Now, we have been teaching you all year that the purpose of this is to be efficient problem solvers. And this is great, and this was fun, and this was exciting, but it isn't as exciting as being more efficient. We have all these different methods that we're teaching you. Is this the most efficient method? Yes, because I'm a machine. A machine that may not think about efficiency all the time. So I'm looking at this, and yes, it's ideal setup that I would use substitution, but I'm also remembering that in elimination, my coefficients have to be the same in order to eliminate. And I'm looking at this and thinking, wait a minute, my y coefficients are the same. So I wonder if I could just take these two equations and subtract them and eliminate my y. So I'm going to look at this y equals 6x minus 1, and y equals negative 2x plus 1, and subtract these. Well, y minus y does eliminate the y. It gives me 0. 6x minus the negative 2, we have to be careful of that. That really means I'm going to have this 8x right here. 
and I have negative 1 minus 1, which gives me this. This is workable. This is easy for us to do. I'm trying to isolate x. I'm trying to get it by itself. Oh, that was brilliant because I can even see where, yeah, see there it is, the 2 equals the 8x. The same thing. You are amazing. That's sweet. So remember, the purpose is to take all these methods that you learn and be efficient and apply them to new things, new concepts, new problems that you guys will have.